the highest paying skill to learn in 2025 is building AI agents. Hi everyone, I'm Ishan Sharma and today I'm at the biggest developer conference of India in Bangalore here at Salesforce TDX. AI agent industry is growing at a 46% rate every single year and it's about to hit $100 billion by 2032. The best thing you can do in 2025 is learning how to build AI agents and how to deploy it for businesses around the world. The highlight of this event is agent force a platform with which you can build and deploy AI agents for businesses around the world. Now I'll show you the applications of AI agents, how to use agent force and how to build AI agents with it in seconds. Shiva, what is an AI agent? in simple terms and how can you build one with agent for AI agent is an uh, artificial intelligence agent so what it does is set of instructions that it can perform autonomously where it can reduce the manual effort and repetitive tasks uh, can be done through this AI agent so basically it has a large language model yeah. which enables it to think and reason yeah. and it has access to tools through yeah. which it can do and execute stuff Exactly. that we ask it to do. Can you show us how to build a simple agent with agent force? Yeah, yeah. So I can take you the whole journey. So this booth is for the agent builder, right? So it talks about how to build an agent. Uh, that's the whole booth. So here I'm talking about a customer like a Zomato or Swiggy in India. It's a Pronto, which is a food delivery customers integrating a cloud kitchen. So now, what, Basically, what we are building a customer support agent yeah, for Zomato, for, Zomato. for example. Exactly, for example. Perfect. Right? So now what they have done is they have integrated the agent force agents, a simple customer support agent here and will help to deflect all the calls coming here and avoid the manual intervention. This is the agent builder. So Salesforce uh, provides agent studio to build such agent. So now I'm going to show you how to create an agent. So this is, you go here and click the new agent and now Salesforce has enabled creating an agent with a Jenny as well, right? So it helps you to guide how to make an instructions much more apt, how to prompt better, mm -hmm. how to describe and scope better. All those things is Gen AI does wonderfully, right? Okay. So let's let's pick up the advanced uh, create with Gen AI. Mm -hmm. And then you can, you, this is very important. You have to tell what an agent has to do. So for example, this is done at the Pronto backside or Zomato backside. The prompt engineer of Zomato is doing this job. Okay. So he's setting the agent. Hey, I, I want this agent, this agent to uh, take orders, take orders for food and a refund for missing food items. So you can kind of give all the details, what the jobs, what actions that the agent wants to do, you can right. mention here. Right? So this is the next step for creating an agent. It kind of already fetched all the things that possibly would be relevant for this agent. So the Salesforce Gen AI has enabled and figured out place food order, track order status, process refunds request, update delivery address, apply promo codes, uh, topics that the Salesforce Gen AI recommends. We can further add topic if you want. If you are seeing that it is not relevant, you can remove topic as well. It's up to you. So the beauty here in this platform is you don't need to compile, host or deploy and then test it. Mm. While writing the prompting itself, you can test. Got it. That's the beauty. So I'm going to demo that. These are the topics that agent has thought. Right. So now I want to test something. Okay. And I want to, since I showed you an order demo, uh, you can ask about what is promo. I want to understand what is promo. Then what happens? It goes through these topics and instructions, this grounded data. It finds, oh, it's asking about a promo. Somewhere it should be in the FAQs. It pulls from there. So that's what it, so it's crafting the response. And it says that during checkout, enter your promo code in the designated field. It talks about this is the place where you can use a promo. Mm -hmm. That's the beauty, right? Okay. So now, look here. This middle plane shows the prompt area. Workflow. Mm -hmm. The workflow mm -hmm. are the prompts, right? So this is the, I have given the input as what is promo here. It has taken that input, fed into the prompt template, pulled the instructions that are relevant, mm -hmm. and then look what is the instructions the instruction matches one of the instructions inside. Then it pulls out what is the action for that instruction from this FAQ, fetches that, and then the response is becoming this way. Okay. And then the grounded data is what is used. So there is no hallucination 
on the agent as well. It won't make mistake. It won't make mistake. Now we just saw how an AI agent can be built with agent builder, but the most important part of building an agent is giving it the right prompt. And here we have a prompt builder, and Adesh to tell us more about how to build prompts from scratch in Agent Force itself. Hi. Hi. This is Adesh. So essentially, what happens is whenever you talk to LLMs, right, the major worry is what if what happens if there is some toxicity, right, or what happens with the PII data. For example, you have customers and they have their phone numbers, address. You don't want LLM to get that data, right? So that's where the prompt builder comes in. Now, what happens is a lot of enterprise data is residing in CRM itself, right, and there is a lot of data that people are having now in data cloud. So what people want to do is they want to Seamlessly integrate with LLM without having to worry about writing code and all. Right. So, prompt template gives you a very low code way of interacting with the LLM. So, for example, you can see this is where the magic happens, right? So, over here, the customers can write their prompt, and then uh, over here, what you see is a resolution of that prompt, and over here, what you see is response of the prompt. Now, let's say there is a use case wherein you have a contact data. And then you have data like let's say Ishan, you are there in the Salesforce system, and you have ordered multiple things from Flipkart, right? Now me as a uh, marketer, I want to see what was your latest order. So what you can do essentially is you can make create a prompt saying you are an expert answering question related to orders, mm -hmm. right? And uh, basically you need to answer this question, and this is my data. Now this is where the magic happens. If you see, I can just input my variables. By just using point and click, I can go to my resources. I can uh, click on free text, right? And I can just click on question. Okay. Now what will happen is when I run this prompt or when I execute it, what will happen is whatever question I have entered here, it will be superimposed here. So basically, during runtime, that data would be fetched and it would be pasted here before giving it to the open app since we have uh, chosen that as a LLM provider. So using just few clicks, I was able to create the whole entire thing and. As you can imagine, in the past world, you would have to write whole code, do all those things all manually. Now I've just shown you how to build AI agents with Agent Force. Now let me show you the various applications of AI agents. And with me, I have Abhishek to talk about sales, which is actually one of my favorite applications of AI agents. Being a marketing agency owner myself, uh, the SDR agent that Salesforce has, what this agent does can send emails. It can, uh, you know, which can be customized with templates. It can do follow-ups. It can book meetings. It, it can do a variety of things. Mm -hmm. It can also help you to become a better sales executive because it gives you capabilities to practice your pitch. It you know gives you feedback on once you you have practiced your pitch. It gives you feedback that hey, these are some of the things that you can do better, mm -hmm. and you know it, that helps the AEs to land their pitch in a much much productive way. Anyone can build a sales agent without needing to know how to code. Absolutely, and that's the best part. Box. That's the best part about Just it. Clicks. You can also automate marketing with AI agents. And with me, I have Anika to tell more about how Agent Force can help you build a marketing agent. Anika, thanks a lot for joining. I want to target my customer. That we are having this deal going on, and you can avail our product in order to take the maximum discount. So this example is an email marketing example in which I want to reach out to my customer and ask them to buy more. Yes. Yes. Okay. Perfect. So let's say I've given one example like using Agent Force. I want to create a campaign. It will give me certain set of briefs. So what is brief? Brief is kind metadata of campaign. So it will give me this description. I can go ahead with the description. I can give my own prompt also. It has given me the overview of the campaign which is going to be created. And now it's asking me for the confirmation. So I've confirmed it. Now, if you see, the campaign has been successfully created. So it made this graphic on itself. Yeah. Yes. Very good. But again, we can change the image. We can change the content altogether. Okay. So this is the third application of AI agents in commerce field. With me, I have Sucheta. If you have your commerce store set up, you don't need to do anything additional. You can set up your agent. To help up with your day-to-day -day tasks. So once you have opened the agent and builder, right? There are multiple topics that you can set up. For example, one of the common tasks that we have to do is setting up product description. You may have a product and you may want to give it a very verbose, descriptive description that talks about the product, right? And you don't have to manually type it out. Mm -hmm. So here is an instruction that we have set up, right? So that automatically it takes the product's title and converts it into a very detailed description. And even adds it to your product, right? So it takes a product ID, yeah. goes into your record, and updates that description. Similarly, another day-to-day -day task that you know that you have to do is creating promotions, right? As you are working on your day-to-day -day jobs, 
right? You want to know what products are performing. If there are certain specific products that you feel are not performing well, you can go and create promotions. Like just give it a uh, prompt saying, I want to create a 10% discount for specific products which are not doing well. And those, uh, and these are the instructions that you can create and accordingly, uh, the promotions will get created. Similarly, there are other things that you can manage related to orders, marketing, campaigns. You can even get insights through your businesses, right? Like there's so much things happening in your store. You don't need to go into dashboards to figure out what's happening in my store. You can give it a prompt saying, you know, what's my average order value? What's, what are my top performing products? Which are my low performing products? And agents will figure that data out from your store and give you those answers. Very cool. So we are at Agent Force Consultations where we can design our own agent. And let's get started with this. Okay. You want to start with the voice? Voice as it? Yeah, you can start at voiceover. You can get it voiceover. So I can talk yeah. and I can make an agent. Yes. Wow. Hi, I want to build an agent who can do lead generation for my marketing company. Basically, I will tell you who is my ideal customer persona and you should be able to create a list of all the companies who can become my clients as a marketing agency and also provide me with the emails of people who are working in those companies in their marketing role. Uh, yes, so I want to reach out to AI companies in San Francisco. So build me a lead agent for that. So now it's making all the actions that the agent can do. Yes, see this. And what is this? This is the deployment window. Let me close this. See this, it has deployed to my org and created the deployed agent Got let it. me click it so as a freelancer you can basically use agent creator to just talk and build an agent and then you can use it right here deploying it and get all the leads that you want for your business you can see the instructions and the user prompt that has been used the topic which it has used the actions which it has written mm -hmm. you just talked it but it has created the instructions and the topics which can help you and it is telling you from where it has been the grounding data it is giving you now we have a hackathon where people are building agents themselves using agent force what agent are you building with agent uh, it's flight uh, booking something it's flight booking yeah how does it work uh, it will answer the uh, users like uh, if anyone wants to uh, check his pnr status so it will tell us uh, tell him the like uh, mm -hmm. uh, you are already checked in or uh, it will so the checked in date is not open date so this type of data okay. and how does it work uh, so we create a messaging channel and uh, provide the necessary permissions to the agent and uh, the agent is visible to the end users without logging into any website and they can ask questions that question gets routed to the uh, agent within the salesforce so mm -hmm. that's it's basically very much uh, no code uh, customization. And after that, but uh, what is the flow builder? Flow builder is to create uh, like how you how the, basically your uh, prompt should go. Mm -hmm. What are the conditions it should check? Like what the instruction you want to add up? What the decision you want to add? So all of all of these that you can build uh, in that flow, you can mention in that flow. And based on that, your agent will take the decision. Mm -hmm. So this mm -hmm. is something which I'm uh, trying to build here. We are in an era of agentic AI, and this has become important for every one of us to flourish and thrive. So I would say. Pick up your beginner's mind approach, read about it, learn about it. There are enough resources and certification. We also have, from a Salesforce perspective, a lot of trailhead courses for you to begin your journey. Now, on that note, I want to quickly point out that while we all have resources to help us learn, there are many, many students out there who still don't have access to digital resources, leave alone AI. Mm -hmm. So at Giving Back, it's a core at what we do at Salesforce. And today, we are giving an opportunity for TDX attendees to be here in this moment and start this huge, amazing giving back zone amazing. where all of them are actually putting their five minutes of time curating back to school kids. Now, there are many students out there who love new academic year, but don't have resources to thrive and succeed. So all of these resources, which includes notebooks, backpack, water bottle, will help them succeed and thrive in their classroom, eventually making them education ready and AI ready. That was Salesforce TDX here in Bangalore. This was the video on how to build AI agents and deploy it for businesses. If you're a freelancer, know that 85% of businesses today want to install AI agents in their workflows, making it the biggest opportunity of 2025. I'll put more information in the description of this video and how to use Agent Force. You'll find all the links in the description below. Thanks a lot for watching. I'll see you in the next one. If you missed this TDX event, do not worry. You can still catch all the highlights and sessions on Salesforce anytime, anywhere. And guess what? TDX is coming back next year. Save the date and sign up to be the first to know when the registration opens. The link is in the description.